Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology and Math Revision Hub. Today we are doing the Pearsonate Excel International A-Level, Biology Unit 1 for October 2019. And this is the part 1 video. I'll put the link to the part 2 video below in the description box. Let's begin. Question 1 says, the graph shows the relative risk of developing cardiovascular disease, CVD for non-smokers and for smokers. On the vertical axis, we have relative risk of developing CVD. And on the horizontal axis, we have age in years. So we see among those between 25 to 34, between 35 to 44, and 44 and above. So this data is for non-smokers, and this is for smokers. Based on these results, we can see as age increases, there is an increase in relative risk of developing cardiovascular disease, but there is a greater risk among smokers than non-smokers. So here they say describe the conclusion that can be made about the risk factor for CVD and use the information in the graph to support your answer. So I said, age increases the risk of developing CVD. This is true because we can see as age increases, there are more cases. And also smoking increases the risk of CVD. This is true because among smokers, there is a higher risk of having CVD even within the same age range. Moving on, here they say, the information shown in this graph was collected more than 25 years ago. Explain how this graph might appear if it showed data collected last year. These days, there is better health care. People are more educated about the risk factors, so I would assume that if this data was collected last year, the risk would be lower. So here I said, the risk would be lower due to improved health care. People would be better taken care of before the risk emerges. And the risk would be lower because people are more aware of the risk factors through education as well as the media. However, smokers would have the same risk since cigarettes still contain the same chemicals. Moving on to part B, they say the number of people in the world who die from CVD each year is 17.7 million. This is 31% of all the total deaths. How many deaths are there in the world each year? If 31 over 100 times the total deaths is equal to that, we can make this the subject and be able to find the total deaths in a year. So it's going to be 57.1 times 10 power 6, and C is the answer. So this is the end of question 1. Let's continue to question 2. Question 2 says, rabbits can have brown fur or white fur. A heterozygous rabbit will have brown fur. Draw a genetic diagram to show the genotypes and corresponding phenotypes of the baby rabbits produced if two heterozygous rabbits were bright together. The heterozygous is going to have both alleles and therefore they will have the allele for brown and the allele for white. So it means the gametes are going to be either capital B small b or capital B small b if I denoted capital V for brown and small b for white. That means the genotype of the offspring is going to be that, that, that and that. The phenotype is going to be three are going to have brown and one is going to have white. So the answer should be that. Next, they say a number of heterozygous pairs of rabbits was bred together and produced 284 baby rabbits. Calculate the expected number of homozygous brown rabbits, heterozygous brown rabbits, and white rabbits produced. Homozygous browns are going to be 1 in 4, so 1 over 4 times the total, and that gives us 71. Heterozygous are going to be that and that, so 2 out of 4 times the total, which gives us that. And then the white rabbits are going to be 1 over 4 times the total, which gives us 71. So those will be the numbers in total. We're going to have 71 for homozygous brown. Heterozygous will be 1 for 2. And the number of whites are going to be 71. This brings us to the end of question 2. Let's continue to question 3. Question 3 says, Hemophilia A is an inherited genetic disorder. Hemophilia A results in the blood not being able to clot. The table gives some information about blood clotting components. Complete the table by filling in the empty boxes with either the name of the component, the role of the component, or the solubility of the component. The first name is thromboplastin. We know thromboplastin is going to be able to convert prothrombin into thrombin, and that is soluble. Thrombin is also soluble, and it catalyzes the conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin, Fibrin is insoluble and it forms a mesh around the wound. It also traps blood cells to form a clot that seal the wound. And then it forms a scab that prevents entry of bacteria as well as other pathogens. 
Moving on. Here they say, Hemophilia A is inherited in a similar way to red-green color blindness. Explain why more males than females are affected with hemophilia A. Based on the information, we can see that hemophilia affects both males and females. And because more males are affected than females, it should be carried on the X chromosome. Since males have only one X chromosome, when they have the recessive allele, they will have the condition. So here I said, since the allele is located on the X chromosome, this allele is recessive. However, since males have only one X chromosome, hemophilia A will affect them every time the allele is present. Question 4. Carbohydrates are important molecules in living organisms. The graph shows the relative sweetness of some monosaccharides and some disaccharides. So here on the vertical axis, we have relative sweetness. And on the horizontal axis, we have the different monosaccharides as well as disaccharides. So we can see lactose is a disaccharide. Maltose is a disaccharide. This is a monosaccharide. That is a disaccharide. And that is a monosaccharide. So from the data here, we can see that the monosaccharide like fructose is quite sweet. However, we have one monosaccharide, which is glucose. That is not as sweet as one disaccharide sucrose. But overall, we can say monosaccharides are more sweet in comparison to the disaccharides. So here they say which row in the table gives the correct number of monosaccharides and disaccharides shown in the graph. So the number of monosaccharides, of course, there are two, that and that, and the number of disaccharides, they are three. So B is the answer. Next they say, which bond joins two monosaccharides together to form a disaccharide? That is a glycosidic bond. So the answer here should be a B. Moving on. Here they say, set two conclusions that can be made about the relative sweetness of monosaccharides and disaccharides. If we go back to the graph, we can see overall, this is very sweet in that, although this is not as sweet as one of the disaccharides, but overall we can see there are more monosaccharides that are sweeter than disaccharides. So here I said, monosaccharides are more or less sweet than disaccharides. I said more or less because there is sucrose, if you can go back here, Sucrose so here is sweeter than one of the monosaccharides, so we can say more or less. And then I say at least one disaccharide, which is sucrose, is sweeter than a monosaccharide, which is glucose. And a monosaccharide fructose is the sweetest of them all. Here they say devise an investigation that a student could carry out to confirm the data shown in the graph. The students can test the sugar solution. However, they should ensure that the concentration is the same. Before they test, they should rinse their mouth thoroughly, or at least between different tests, their mouths should be thoroughly washed, and then they could compare the relative sweetness with each other. Moving on. Part B says amylose and amylopectin are components of starch. Compare and contrast the structure of amylose with the structure of amylopectin. When they say compare and contrast, they want you to talk about the similarities as well as the differences. So the similarities are both of them are polymers that contain glucose molecules and both contain 1,4-glycosidic bonds. The differences are amylose has 1,4-glycosidic bonds only, while amylopectin has both 1,4 and 1,6-glycosidic bonds. So this brings us to the end of question 4 as well as to the end of the first part of this paper. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.